Hello, I heartily welcome all the viewers to this video. So, first of all, let me introduce myself. I am Harshit Pura and uh, uh, I am currently a student of Department of Information and Communication Technology at Marwadi University. Uh, I am uh, making so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, topics that are related to basics of electronic engineering. So uh, I am uh, uh, guided by uh, for this project under the guidance of uh, C D Perma sir, who is the H O D of our department. So let us uh, start our video. So in uh, this video we are going to learn how to design different types of oscillator circuits, uh, and we are going to learn how to different uh, differentiate different types of oscillator circuits and uh, come to know about the output waveforms of the circuit. So our first oscillator, oscillator circuit is crystal oscillators. So uh, how we are going to uh, discuss in this problem is that uh, first of all we are going to discuss the circuit of this crystal oscillator and then we are going to see the output waveforms of the crystal oscillators on multi -seam. So now let us understand the circuit of this oscillator. So this is the full circuit of crystal oscillator. So let me introduce to each of the component that is used in this uh, in this circuit. So the, uh, this uh, ground, the resistance, the different uh, resistance are used of different values. Uh, this is the op amp that is operational amplifiers which is uh, used to amplify the signals. Uh, these two are the zener diodes you can see from this uh, circuit and uh, this component is uh, oscilloscope in which we are going to see the output waveforms now this one is the special component that is used in this oscillator circuit that i am going to explain in the next slide so how this circuit works uh, as per this component as, as per this component the input is given uh, from this uh, this positive end of this op amp now uh, the signal passes the, through this branch and uh, this is the capacitor which stores the signal and passes uh, through the oscillator now the what is the working of this r2 here the r2 acts as a feedback uh, feedback uh, oscillator which gives the feedback signal to the negative part of this op amp so in this way the it uh, signal oscillates in this way that uh, it uh, goes on from positive end and uh, goes to the negative as a feedback so in this way uh, and the uh, above part is given 16 volt supply and lower part is also given 16 volt supply means when we are going to see the output waveform of the this uh, crystal oscillator the peak that we are going to see on the positive end and the negative end is going to be of 16 volt and uh, one more thing i want to add is the uh, add is here that we are going this is the oscillator circuit so we are going to get signals with uh, varying amplitudes but the peak uh, of this uh, signal would be of 16 volt and minus 16 volt uh, now let me introduce to the, uh, this component uh, this is an ic and which is comprises of these components so this ic is known as the uh, quartz crystal uh, you can clearly see if, uh, this is the crystal and metalli metallized electrodes are there so equivalent circuit of this IC is this one which comprises of resistance, uh, inductor and capacitance with the capacitance in parallel with these three components. So now let us uh, see uh, le let us uh, uh, see the output waveforms of the crystal oscillators on the multi -seam. So let us uh, so uh, we have reached the multi -seam. And uh, this is the same circuit uh, that was there in the previous slide. Now we are going to see the output waveforms of this circuit. So let us click on the play button. See, from the, this output you can see. You can see that uh, signals of different amplitudes are generated with varying frequency and uh, you can see the peaks of this signal. This is the output uh, waveform of the crystal oscillator.
uh, let us uh, differentiate the scale like this one so it uh, you can get a more clear picture of the output waveforms see you can see the signals with uh, different amplitudes that is uh, that is the main function of oscillators uh, so that we can get uh, signals of uh, varying amplitudes Now the next circuit we, that we are going to see is the IC phase shift oscillator. So uh, in this circuit also we are going to first see the circuit of the IC phase uh, shift oscillator and then we are going to implement in, uh, in the multi -sim. So let us discuss about the IC uh, phase shift oscillator. So first of all uh, this is the whole circuit of IC phase shift oscillator. Now these are the different component components that are used in this uh, circuit. This is the resistance. You can see the power supply, DC power supply of 12 volts to both the ends of the uh, operational amplifiers. Uh, now the your capacitors are also used in this circuit. You can see the three different capacitors over here, and the output is measured across this one. Now uh, here you can see uh, this. R6 that you are going uh, that you are seeing here is uh, it acts like a feedback to the open. Now this feedback uh, could be this the uh, variable resistance we are using so that uh, it acts like a tuner. So as we uh, increase or decrease the resistance, there would be uh, significant changes in the uh, output signal. Uh, here is the oscilloscope, and uh, we are also going to see the uh, output signal of this particular circuit. So let us head on towards the multi-sim uh, multi to <coughs> So uh, you can see the full circuit of this uh, IC phase shift oscillator in the multi-sim. Here we are here we have the same circuit. Now you can see you can vary the resistance from here also. This is the variable resistance we have used. So let us uh, first keep uh, the variable resistance to 65. Not okay. We are going to use to 45. Then we are going to run this. Uh, see, at 45 percentage of this uh, uh, one megaohm resistance, we are not getting. We are not getting the amplified signal or the oscillated uh, signal. So let us increase uh, this resistance. See at 65 also we are not getting. Means it is the the signal is not perfectly tuned. So we can tune this signal according to our uh, requirement. Uh, I think in this circuit we if we uh, increase the resistance to more than 80 percent, the there would be significant changes that would be seen in this uh, output signal. So let us practically do that to 85. See, you can see minor changes in the signal as we increase on. See, there is a great change in the signal. Let us differentiate using this scale. See, again if we decrease the signal, uh, re, uh, tuner, uh, decrease the resistance, there would be signal, there would be changes in the signal and it would be again zero. See, you can see, uh, you can see clear zero, zero that is passing. Now, once it goes above 80, there would be changes, you can see. Again, if we decrease, okay.
Okay, so we have uh, seen this uh, IC phase shift oscillator circuit on the multi-sim also. Now we head uh, on towards the next uh, circuit, oscillator circuit, that is wind bridge oscillators. This is the special type. Of so uh, uh, in this uh, wind bridge oscillators also, we are going to first discuss the circuit. This is uh, a full circuit of the wind bridge oscillator. And then we are going to implement this uh, full circuit on the multi-sim. So let us first under the understand this circuit. So this is the open operational op amplifier that we have used. And uh, here from on the input side, this is the non-inverting. Because the input is given from to the positive end of the uh, operational amplifier. Now, uh, as you have connected uh, R and C in parallel. So it is a parallel RC circuit over here. And then now, uh, input is given from to the positive end and here from you you can see the uh, loop over here I am uh, arrowing towards the loop this one this is the full with loop and this R4 and C act as a feedback feedback to the uh, operational amplifier so this is uh, RC, RC parallel you can see and uh, these are also these types of resistance are used to provide negative feedback to the operational amplifier to oscillate the uh, signal according to the requirement and uh, plus 12 and minus 12 volt is given to the both the ends of the operational amplifier and here is the function generator that we have used to measure the output signal now uh, we are going to implement this whole circuit on the multi sim so let us go on to the multi sim so you can see the whole circuit of this uh, wind bridge oscillator. You can see all the components that was seen in the previous slide. Uh, now we are going to run this uh, circuit on the multi sim. See, this is the output waveform that you are going to get on the multi sim when a wind bridge oscillator is done. See, you can see the uh, output signal with varying uh, varying amplitudes. Let us get a more clear picture of these signals. See, uh, you can see that uh, above and the lower one are clipped part because yeah, you can see the reading. See, there are changes that is happening. There are 9, 10, 11, 12 means that these are the changes happening on these amplitudes of the signal and the peak points of this uh, signal would be of plus 12 and minus 12 approximately so you can see 11.117 10 then it decreases because it is an oscillator circuit so the signal completely oscillates uh, according to the time see from this picture you can see clearly that sometimes uh, signal uh, is with uh, low amplitudes and sometimes it becomes higher. So this is a simulation of this uh, wind bridge oscillator. Okay, this was the last circuit that we have, we have discussed that is wind bridge oscillator circuit. And uh, here I would like to end my video. Uh, so thank you all the viewers to see this video and if you have any doubts or any questions regarding to this video you can ask me in the comment section so hope so you have learned uh, many things from this video video and uh, uh, might uh, have learned to design desire design many types of oscillator circuits which would be helpful in your uh, daily routine uh, may you use these circuits in your daily applications and thank you uh, thank you very much for watching this video thank you